Hey guys, I'm uh, Uffe here with the TC Electronic and we are very lucky to have uh, Uriah Duffy actually come by headquarters in TC in Aarhus. So uh, welcome to Denmark and welcome Finally. to TC. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. What we're going to do here today is uh, do a few uh, tone plans with uh, Uriah and we are starting out with uh, uh, a closer look at the uh, Hall of Fame reverb pedal. Well, why do you want to pick that and tweak that today? Um, well, in addition to the regular bass playing gigs I get, I like to play solo bass, you know, for times where, you know, you want to experiment with sounds and, and chords and, and melodies. I, I found just a little reverb, if done the right way, really makes it sound more expressive. Um, and it can be done the wrong way, too, when it's oversaturated. Uh, so I'd like to learn, you know, how I can use this pedal and, and come up with the settings that I can play some of these more pretty types of things. The way this works now is actually if you play soft, mm -hmm. you don't hear a lot of reverb, but when you pull something really hard, you get peaks to trigger the, the gate open. I like it, yeah, it's not there at all until you hit it loud. And can it be the backwards of that, where there's reverb on the notes until you play loud? Ah, <laughs> there it is. It has a little more uh, bite to it, basically, because when you actually pull it and you want to hear it, I, I, I like it to be present. I love it. It's a mix between a dry... I mean, I'm playing with the setting by Dynamics. Yeah. Print. Cool. <laughs> Name? <laughs> I, I keep thinking uh, Aftershock. Aftershock? Yeah. That's a good one. So this is the Aftershock reverb tone print um, for the Hall of Fame pedal. And um, it's something I try to do where you can play very soft and you don't even hear anything. But when you dig in more, there's a threshold like on an envelope filter. So um, if I get this right, you, you can dig in more and, and that's where you get the reverb. Yeah. So.